Uh, the title of this piece is called Who is the Pendleton Two? The Pendleton Two is all of us who answers the call when comrades call, when their lives are in danger. The Pendleton Two are brothers who took the lead in standing up and challenging corrupt, illegitimate, and racist power who was trying to carry out a lynching under the color of, a, of law, a murder, while hiding behind the prestige of the state. The pillar and two are comrades who took the initiative, made the sacrifice, and forced other comrades to follow their example. It is now our turn to make the sacrifice and bring the pillar and two home and free all of us who have been victims of the culture created and dominated by the Sons of Light organization. In what world or country does someone get 80 to 100 plus years for intervening in and trying to save the life of another for trying to prevent the murder of a third party? Seriously. Is it their comrade Lomar Abdul Wadu? Slave named Lincoln Love, may he rest in peace. Life had no value because he was, as a prisoner, being beaten by racist prison guards. Is it because he was a new African that his life has no value? In what world or country is a man held in solitary confinement on lockdown for 23 hours a day for 30 years, literally, for trying to save someone else's life? If the penalty too had been in society and stopped, prevented, disarmed, and disciplined an active shooter, they would be identified as heroes, invited onto mainstream media platforms, given oculates and funding. This again exposes the hypocrisy of liberal morality or so-called American justice. Whether we are prisoners or civilians, we have a right to fight for and defend our lives. But arms are necessary. Why? Because our lives matter and have value, just like yours. People who have a mental disease identified as racism and hiding behind their badge and employed by the state doesn't have a right to take our lives. What, what world or country do we live in where the perpetrators of such crimes can go on record and under oath admit they belong to a racist terror organization operating within the Indiana prison system and you still keep the building into a prison for 40 years? I don't care what your belief system is. You cannot in good conscience think that it is just or honorable. Forty years is enough. Time is up. Free the pillow and two and all comrades who have either suffered or been a victim of the Sons of Light racist terror group. We also want those of us who have picked up new criminal charges as a result of the culture this group was allowed to create and hide in. We want those cases slash convictions reopened. Free the pillow and two. Shaka Shakur, New African Political Prisoner.